Hey, just a quick video here on Runway's new Act 2 and how we could get close to it using the WAN 2.1 model vase with the Kenny and Pose control. First of all, um, let's have a look at Act 2. Act 2. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, really? Right. And then he... These here are my favorite beans. Best brand. What's going on here? And then I get the call from Doc. He was upset. Somebody saw the ship. They put it on the internet. That's cool. Okay, one more. Off. What are you doing? This is fun. Whoa, wait, wait, hey, are you actually going to stop me here? I've missed you ever so. I heard in the bathroom, someone was like screaming, help me. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> you don't want it to miss him, take? Oh, sure, sure. But uh, both hoist lines. On the runway help center page, um, just under that video, it's got all of the settings there, um, so we'll just bypass all of that. Go down to here and have a look at this, because this is your input. So the thing is, it can do an image input, and it can do a video input. So that's pretty impressive. Um, so you can see the zoom happening in this video here, and it takes the driving video, and it transfers that to a still image and to a video. So... That's something that if I was doing that in one or comp UI, I'm going to have to probably use like Recam Master or something to continue the zoom through. Um, so I'm not too sure how I'd achieve that. Um, but yeah, the other settings here. So character image, gesture guide, and you can have it on or off. So it's a very impressive um, thing it doesn't say too much about the lip syncing though so it's got facial expression um, setting there but it doesn't mention anything about lip syncing so I'm guessing it sort of takes some of your mouth movements um, but I don't know how well that does so anyway let's look at in uh, comp for UI and first of all I'm going to go into flux context because I need my still image. So um, I've got a, a video that I've done and that's my first uh, still from the video. And what I want to say is change the background to a snowy mountain and put snow on the man's hair and jacket, but keep all the man's body and face structure the same. So... I've done that, and when I ran that, I came with this picture here. Um, pretty much looks the same, did what I wanted. So now that we've got that, we can get out. Now we're in video to video, vase image reference workflow. Um, got my photo that I've just uploaded. Here's my driving video, so it's just me uh, for four seconds turning my head there. And up the top here on this side, I'm using the GGUF. I'm using a Q5. Um, I'll have the link in the comments there, which is this one here, where you can choose one that suits you. Um, I've also used this here where I can adjust my virtual RAM there to help as well. Got Sage Attention on just to speed it up and the cause vid on there there's another speed up um the shift is at eight and now my prompt is a mid shot of a man turning his head on a snowy mountain while it's snowing um just keep it really simple there um make sure that you've got the right resolution there 832 by 480 and there's just the samplers at 6, 1, and, uh, uh, C, F, G, and denoise at 1. Just keeping everything low because of that cause vid. And that's my output there. It came out pretty good.
so yeah no need for motion tracking anymore we can pretty much get these things really good now this was with the Kenny node over here so this Kenny node sort of takes the edges of this video and it grabs that image and sort of bakes it into that video there so in this situation of the same person getting transferred almost everything just the background and that uh, this is where the Kenny mode is really good but for other things we probably want to use the pose model so I'm just going to look at this if I change my prompt over here a mid shot of a lion turning its head into a snowy mountain and I want to use this uh, line over here here's my line here and then when I press run my output was this this canny here it sort of looks a bit weird when it turns so face on it's okay but then it sort of gets a little bit odd so I'm in the pose workflow now so this is exactly the same as the canny one except for the open pose node here that's the only difference it's still got the same driving video the same image the same prompt but when I ran it it came up with this really great result um, and yes yeah, so this this is what's better when you have some other sort of image that's a lot more different dimension than the original this will work with hands and face just like the uh, runways act 2 um, the lips is probably a little bit like runway 2 it might not be right on so you at least with this you can use multi talk to get the lips better and you could use recam master to get the the sort of camera angles that you want but yeah this is still okay um, I'll have another video coming out on how to get a better quality out of this um, with a thing called Pusa. Um yeah so uh, just uh, subscribe while you're watching this now and then we'll see you in that next video